Summon of knowledge is the 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 summon of knowledge podcast. Oh hey, salmon skins, babu babu ba hey, salmon skins, babu babu ba. You think you've got it? Ooh, you've got a salmon, but when you look at closer, it looks like a trout. Wow, 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 wow. You want some sea bass? Ooh, you want some sea bass? Some calamari fried, and you put it in your mouth. Wow, wow, wow. It tastes like rubber. Oh, it tastes like rubber. But some people, but some people, some people, some people, some people love the taste. I don't like the texture of it. And I really don't like octopus as well. Ba, 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 hey, yeah. Edwin Salmon. Hey, yeah. Not a trout. Hey, yeah. Edwin Salmon. I'm not a Trevor trout. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of Edwin Salmon of Knowledge. Uh, if you're looking for Trevor Trout, uh, Trevor Trout's Truths, that is a different podcast. That is not Edwin Salmon of Knowledge. That is my rival stand-up comedian, Trevor Trout, who just uh, speaks his truth. It's basically Trevor Trout's hot takes, but uh, it didn't have the alliteration, so he calls it Trevor Trout's Truths, as he sees it, as he views the world and the truths. Now, uh, Ollie Octopus's um, other podcast is uh, far superior to Trevor Trout's Truths. It's Ollie Octopus around the world. And he spells around with an O and then the world. So it's not, it's not, it's, it's alliterative. Three of the words out of the five have, you know, zeros in them, circles in them. Not zeros, not circles. Um, O's. Is it an O or is it a circle? Um, I mean, I guess it's a circle. An O is a circle. This is just like uh, recently where on my other podcast, Reviewables, talking to an Austrian travel writer, I, for some reason, thought continental, as in on the continent, uh, meant by the sea. But no, continent is a big big thing. The continent of Europe. Austria is a landlocked com- uh, company. <laughs> it's not a company either. Oh, this just in. Austria has been bought by a big businessman who's going to turn it into a company. And they are going to just churn out lederhosen and uh, chocolates and um, accordions. Accordingly. So, guys, how's everyone doing? I am slowly melting. My brain is slowly melting. It's a a deceptive day. It's quite sunny out. So I went out in just a T-shirt and a zippy top. And, uh, well, not just. I mean, obviously, I was wearing pants and I was wearing shoes as well. Uh, If I just got out in a zippy top and a T-shirt, you wouldn't be listening to me right now because I would be in prison. So, uh, yeah, I went out thinking, oh, it's nice and sunny. And uh, I went out in the balcony and was like, yeah, it's sunny, it's fresh, it's nice and fresh. Which is kind of what you're, it's like someone who's trying to spin the weather. Because it is cold. And no, it's not cold, it's it's fresh, this is fresh weather. Um, and it kind of feels like, because it's the 1st of October today as I'm recording this, and it does feel like winter is here. I have another gig in Dublin coming up in a couple of weeks' time which uh, I will be announcing very soon, and the time is now. I'm announcing it now. October 19th in the Workman's Club. It's going to be uh, myself doing about an hour of comedy, and I'm going to have a support act, so it's maybe like an hour and a half. It could even stretch to two hours, depending on how many support acts I get. Probably just one. But it's me uh, doing what I'm going to call Edwin Salmon of Knowledge, uh, doing kind of old jokes, some new stuff about the pandemic, but basically just jokes that I've kind of forgotten. And I'd say a lot of other people have forgotten jokes, even if you've seen me before. The last time you would have heard some of these jokes was six months ago, or maybe more. So you've probably forgotten. You've probably forgotten them all. So come along and laugh and go, oh yeah, I remember that one. Um, I'll be joking about various things. Um... I might even do some very old material. I've got some great stuff on Methuselah. Oh, he was a card. 
Such a such a funny man. Uh, so yeah, so that will be available. Uh, online tickets will be available for this gig next week. Uh, I would imagine, or you know, like three or four days time. As you listen to this podcast now, probably the tickets are available. So check it out. Uh, the Workmen's Club in Dublin on the 19th of October. There will be limited tickets. I think there's only 40-something tickets in groups of twos and fours. So come on down and laugh some more. And that rhymes, and you know it. So come down and laugh and show it. The laughter will be etched on your face, and we'll have fun all over the place. In a socially distant way, listen to what I say. Rhyming is easy. Lemons are squeezy. Don't squirt them in your eyes, because you'll start to cry. The citric acid will cause your pupils to die. Now, uh, I won't be doing any slam poetry on the night, unless, of course, I get inspired. Now, myself and Cara, we went away, okay? And yes, uh, Dublin was locked down. Now, we had booked the holiday weeks in advance, uh, like I've got like a month ago. And we said, yeah, look, we're going to go because we both need a holiday. And I think going away on holidays and staying in a place, you want to have a few nitpicks. That's kind of like half the fun of traveling to a hotel, staying in a hotel. And this was a four star hotel, Bunradi Castle Hotel. Now, I got to say the manager of the hotel, she was uh, very nice, very sound. Because I rang and said, look, we're coming from Dublin. Dublin is uh, locked down, which it's not against the law because there is no law, as you've seen probably from videos of just dickhead men usually driving around being stopped by the guards because they're, you know, live in Dublin, but they just want to drive to Roscommon for no reason. They don't know anyone there. They just want to drive to Roscommon to break the rules just to show that the government can control them or something. It's the same kind of nonsense where people won't wear masks because they believe, you know, oh, whatever the government tells me to do, I'm not going to do it. Or in the case of America, it's, uh, you know, don't tell me how to freedom. And, like, I rang and said, look, are you, are, are you going to stop us? <laughs> uh, not in a threatening way. We're coming down. You better let us in this fucking hotel. Um, but she said, don't we, we can't, uh, legally we can't turn anyone away. You can cancel, but if you get stopped uh, at a guard checkpoint and they turn you back, then, you know, we're just going to have to take your money even though you're not, you're not going to stay in the hotel. So we said, look, it's fine. We've been in our own little bubble here. I haven't been home to Offaly. I haven't been over to people's houses. I uh, kind of haven't really seen anyone in at least a couple of weeks. It's just been myself and Cara. So what better way to relax than to go down to Bunratty Castle Hotel and Spa and Leisure Centre. Four stars and just spend three days, just the two of us. Because, uh, you know, there's no change there. But we get like an extra big bed, and they have like a, a pool, and a jacuzzi, and a, and a sauna. So it was like, if the if the weather's not good, at least we have somewhere to stay, um, and something to do in the hotel. So we went down to the hotel, we checked in, they have a little machine to to read your temperature when you're when you're going in and then we went up to the room and uh, it didn't it didn't have a heater in the room it had uh an ac thing that was built into the into the wall and uh we turned that on tried to crank up the heat but it didn't seem to be working it was just blowing cold air and we were like okay well that might heat up i just i couldn't figure it out so then there was a there was housekeeping outside in the in the hallway so we called in this little Spanish lady who uh, pressed the buttons confusedly and then said uh, she was going to send up maintenance or talk to maintenance, whatever. Now, th- that didn't happen. And we just, uh, we went to sleep because, we, you know, you get under the covers, you're warm enough. We just turned off the, the thing because it was better to have it off than to be just blowing cold air. 
So we turned it off, and then in the morning, I turned it on again. And still, it was blowing cold air. So I said, I'll I'll speak to the front desk about this. Now, I had another problem in that I brought down uh, the dongle, or uh, the Chromecast, but I like to call it the dongle, because I like to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on my dongle, because it sounds a bit sexy. And I plugged in the Chromecast, and I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi in the hotel. But the problem was that I connected my phone to the Wi-Fi, You have to register because you have to give an email address, blah, blah, blah. So I couldn't connect to the Chromecast because there was no password. It was just a it was a register thing. So I was like, I should have brought my bloody laptop, but maybe there's a way to do it. So I went down and said, "Uh, hi, Uh, there was a girl at the front desk. And I said, hello there. Uh, We have a problem with our air conditioning. It's just blowing cold air. I don't know. Maybe we're not pressing the right buttons, but we tried cranking it up to 30 degrees, which is the highest temp that it goes to. Temp being uh, short for temperature, because I didn't want to confuse her completely. And she said, all oh, right, OK, well, we'll have someone look at that. And I said, also, I can't connect my dongle. And she looked at me like a two heads. And I said, my Chromecast. And the minute I said Chromecast and connect, I could see her just, there was no... There was no way she knew the answer to this question. You know, she kind of, she started to look right through me. And I realized that, you know, three words into the sentence. But I had to plow on and just say the entire sentence because I had started it. So it would be rude of me to stop three words in and go, you know, oh, I'm having a problem connecting the Chromecast. To, oh, you don't know anything about that because your eyes are glazing over and you're looking at me like I'm a madman. So I'll stop talking now. Goodbye. So I didn't do that. Uh, there was some weird stuff, though, in the ho- in the hotel. Because, oh yeah, and the next day, the thing still wasn't working. Uh, and we, so I said that to her, said that, said about the dongle, about the air conditioning. I said, we're going out now uh, into Limerick City. So I went into Limerick City and uh, walked around there, got some food, had a nice time and came back. And uh, Karen went up to the room and I went uh, to get a drink and she messaged me saying, room's still cold. So I said it to the front desk and she, the manager came out. She got the manager and she said, do you want to move to another room to the junior executive suite? And I was like, wow, yeah, sure. And it was directly across the room, uh, the room across from us. And uh, we went in, bigger room, it had a couch and two chairs in a sitting, seating area, and a slightly bigger bed, I think, as well. And the bed was massive. Like, basically, when I lay down on the bed and stretched my arms, they didn't, they almost reached the edge of the bed. But, like, such a big bed. Yeah, I mean, you could get lost in it. And, uh, yeah, so we were upgraded. But one thing these rooms had, which confused me, is they had like an espresso coffee machine. You know, like the pod coffee machine things. But there were no pods. They just had the machine. And then in the drawer was the kettle and the freeze-dried packet of uh, coffee and the sugar and the UHT milk, where you don't see anywhere because it's shite. And... I just thought that was strange. Like, I mean, do we go down? I almost felt like going down to the front desk and just saying, you know, can I get some pods, please? And they'd just look at me again like I had four heads and go, the pods, the coffee pods for the coffee machine. I mean, you think that would have been something they'd put in the email or something welcoming you to the hotel. Before you come down, make sure to... uh, you know, bring your credit card so we can charge you. And also some Nespresso pods for a coffee machine because we have them supplied in every room. We supply the machine, but oh, 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 not the pods. You'll have to supply the pods yourself because that's four-star hotel service. It just made no sense. So anyway, guys, look here. Uh, I'll stop talking now. We'll take a little break. We'll be back after this. Bye, bye, bye. Here's the break now. Come for the break now. Here's the break. Do you have no musical taste? 
then you need Classical Music Collection. Over 475,000 classical pieces on 282 CDs. Impress your friends. You've heard all these songs before. In advertisements for cars. In a few diehard movies. It would take you hundreds of years and millions of pounds to amass this collection, but you can have it all today for just 12 installments of twenty-four ninety-nine. Act now and receive an extra CD with four more pieces of classical music. Featuring the music from 2001 A Space Odyssey, Pretend you have culture with classical albums. The Classical Collection. Order now. So, guys, we are back. And I was recently down in Galway doing a gig. And I recorded my podcast in my brother Julian's study slash office. It's more of an office than a study. I don't think he does much study there. Maybe the kids would study for school. I don't know. Anyway, my godson and uh, uh, nephew, because he can be both things, uh, who is 11 years old, Killian, he joined me for uh, a little chat. Now, I only had the one microphone because I didn't think he'd uh, be interested in, in chatting for the podcast. You know, he mainly plays uh, Fortnite and uh, that's what he was doing for a while. And then he came in and was like, here, let's have a chat. So uh, he seems to have very little knowledge of podcasting. I don't think he really listens to podcasting. Now, after this conversation we had, he wants to have his own podcast. So I don't know, I'll, I'll probably do another episode with him at some stage and maybe bring a second microphone. Now, his microphone technique is pretty bad. He kept sort of turning away to think. Uh, so, the, and I'm kind of on the side, so we had to get sort of close enough to the microphone, but not uh, so close that it was uncomfortable. So we had a little chat, and uh, here is some of that chat. So uh, let's have a listen to me and my nephew Killian having a chat about his favourite actor. Are we in? Okay. Yes, okay. okay we... <laughs> We're back podcasting with uh, my co-host on Edwin Salmon of Knowledge. Now. I think only, the only co-hosts I can have are people... Who are in your family. Who so. are also called Salmon and are in yeah, my family. Yeah, so that kind of narrows it down to only me. So, yeah. So Not we... because I'm the only one in the family, because I'm the only one with a sense of humour. Ooh, and that's a sick burn. Take that, Roisin. Take that, Donica. Uh, what you, what's on your phone? What are you doing? Nothing. I'm trying to see if my friend can text me back because he it was supposed to be coming. It's he was not here to be yet. Coming down. He said he was going to be here at Ethan. four. It is currently twenty past four. Now that's that's tardy. I think ten minutes is is enough time yeah. to be late, and then any more than ten minutes. As Al Pacino. Because after 10 minutes, <coughs> I just won't care. Because he said he'd be yeah. done at 4. If he don't, turns up at half past. So 18 minutes I'll, past. Like, if he has, like, a, a valid excuse for being late, but I will. what excuse can an 11-year-old boy like, have traffic, on a Sunday? Traffic. Is, yeah. No, exactly. Like, I don't know. <laughs> the only traffic I've seen all day was has been those cows by, this morning. Was he not down by a car? Oh, God. Don't say so that. Yeah, I shouldn't joke about yeah, that. Yeah, don't joke about that. Because if he has... No, you'll feel terrible. Your friend Ethan. Well, I, I, Ethan Hunt, Mission Impossible. Well, what's his surname? Well, actually, we shouldn't give out full names of 11-year-old boys on a podcast. <laughs> it's not, 
It's not a good idea. In fact, I probably need to ask your Apparently, parents' permission. Apparently, something he told me this morning is his his cousin is very good at fo- soccer or football. Yeah. I call I call it football. Yeah. Um, uh, he re- very good, and he was in some academy. I don't know what academy it was, but today his cousin texted Ethan saying that he um has got a. He signed with Wolves, Wolverhampton oh. Wanderers. Um, really? Yeah. How old is he? He's 16. He's not playing in the <coughs> senior squad. He's in yeah. the academy. Well, but he's like under contract? Yeah. So he, will he get... Will he, he can't earn money if he's 16, though, can he? Yeah, he can. If you're in the academy, you can. Yeah? Well. Well, if you sign a contract. Yeah. So is that still the dream for you to get signed, not by Wolves, but... No. You know. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind, <laughs> to be honest. Well, I mean, if you get your foot in the door, and then if you play really, really well, and then you yeah. might get poached by one of the other teams. You're a Liverpool fan? Yes, I am. How long have you been a Liverpool fan? My whole life. <laughs> I never really... Um, <laughs> kind of, that's the answer to that. <laughs> My whole life. Since your first words when you came yeah, out, yeah, oh. when you'll never walk alone. You you sang that when you were when you were a baby. Do you know the, the full? Do you know the full words to that? Can you sing it? I can try. When you Ooh. walk, I'm not gonna do it now. Three ways still. Oh. Hold your head, head up high. high. Can you do a Liverpool accent? Not that and well. Don't you know the chance though? Don't you? You've been wait. You've been to Anfield. Yes. See, that's in a, there. When was that? That was like second last group game against Genk. Oh, Champions League game. Yeah. When was that? Was that that was like that was two like years Chris, ago? No, this was this year, like Christmas. Last year, Christmas of last year. Yeah, Christmas last year. Christmas twenty nineteen. Oh, okay, so you were. Yeah, you were eleven. Probably earlier. Than or ten. That. Probably earlier than that. Uh, you went with your granddad. And my dad. Yeah, and Jerry. My brother. Jerry, who is a long time listener of the podcast. You can say hello, say hello to Jerry. Hello, you? Jerry. Do you call it? You don't call him Jerry. You call him, no, you I call, call him, him granddad, but no, I'll say Jerry to be formal. <laughs> <laughs> let's be formal with be your formal, granddad. Let's be formal on the podcast. Be informal with your granddad, say Jerry, because that's his name. So lean in. Let's let's give let's. If you were doing it, if this was just your podcast, and I'll be your I'll be your engineer. I'll be your sound engineer. You sound. So I can edit it afterwards. So what's your hot topic? What would you like? What do you? I probably I probably have a sports sports podcast. Sports podcast and like culture, like like movies and that type of podcast. So what's what's your favorite movie? Now I believe I don't actually know my favorite movie to be honest. What's the What's the last movie that you watched? Avengers Endgame. I watched it last night. Had you seen it before? Watched it for the first time? Four times before. I saw it in cinemas. You like it? Yeah, it's good. Who's your favourite Avenger? Spider-Man. That's why I like Tom Holland so much. Well, he's my favourite actor. Yeah, I was going to say that (laughs) because we we touched on this earlier on, but like Tom Holland uh, is your favourite actor. Didn't we talk about this earlier? He's very young. Oh yeah, but there was Roisin. Oh yeah. Nice in the background. So this is, a, this is a clean, a clean hot take. This is how po- this is how the sausage podcast gets made. You can't fry up a nice, big, juicy podcast sausage without making sure all the best ingredients are stuffed into it. I'm terrible with analogies. It's a constant. Yeah, I, c- I can tell you've never made a sausage. Of course, I've made sausages. I worked in a I worked in a meat factory for six months. Did you making sausages? Uh, Where I, in Ireland? In Burr. Okay. But yeah, I've talked about that in the podcast before. So yeah. let's get down. Let's get down to business. Um, Tom Tom Holland, favorite actor. Yeah. What was the first movie you remember seeing? Oh. Of movie? Tom Holland. No, no. Uh, no, ever. like with Tom Holland in it. <laughs> with Tom Holland beside you. <laughs> no, with no, like with Tom Holland in it. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it was Spider Man. Not far from home. Homecoming. Yeah, because what's he done before Spider Man? That's the thing; he hasn't really done. Yeah, much. he was he was a gymnast and he did like yeah. plays. He was in Billy Elliot the musical, yeah. I think in in I was going to say on Broadway, but not in, in the West End in London. Yeah, because have you seen that that thing where he dances to Rihanna's y- yeah. umbrella? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like I just I watched it and I was like, okay. Because I don't know if you do you know this? Did you hear the story about when? Because that was for Comedy Central, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like that. That, that was like lip lip sync, lip sync battle. But he just went. I'm just going to do a big mad dance routine in a in a fancy gusset, and <laughs> <laughs> but he was. Uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, his audition. Did you hear about how he auditioned for Spider Man? He did no. like he did like a somersault spin and landed on his feet in the audition even though he was told not to because you know if you do something yeah like... if you if you if you damage yourself and i think he did some of the stunts in it but i think the majority of spider-man performance is motion capture or just C- yeah CGI. well i mean like most yeah yeah cause... but he's good he's a very i think he's a very good peter parker because unlike the other peter parkers he's he timid. looks young. He yeah, looks young, and he's timid type person. Like he's doesn't have a lot of friends. The character Peter Parker. Yeah. You talk about Tom Holland. No, no, no. Slagging Tom Holland. <laughs> I'm sure he's got lots of friends. Um, yeah, he's he's unsure of himself, and he's awkward. But Tom Holland looks the part, as in he looks like he's in high school. Yeah. Because even though he's about twenty. Because well, Tobey Maguire was like twenty seven. Yeah, and he like he's tall, so he, t- he never really played the part. Yeah, but like Tom Holland is small. I was actually surprised when I when I watched Spider Man because I think Marvel got to make a Spider Man movie uh, at exactly the right time because everyone was kind of sick of Spider Man movies. Yeah, because you had all the Tobey Maguire ones, and then you had the Andrew Garfield ones. The Andrew Garfield ones were just. I never. I didn't actually watch the second one. I don't one. think that Andrew Garfield ones were that good. Is that because of him or? No, I just don't like him as an actor. Well, that's a shame because that's his profession. I know. What's he going to do? I he's lost a fan in you. <laughs> well, and I he's, mean, and he's he English pro- as well. He's English as I well. I know. Well, most of them are English. <laughs> Except Tobey Maguire. Yeah. But I'm talking about. Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> the Spider-Man performance, not the quality of the film, because the film is kind of. Very in quality, but I was film, surprised. I thought most of the Tom Holland films are actually pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was uh, the first one, Homecoming, was surprisingly funny. Yeah, I, I didn't expect because I was like so beaten down by the old movies, I really didn't give a shit about. Yeah, a new Spider Man movie, but I was like, oh, it's actually quite funny and good. Like it's, it's a good mix between funny, action filled, like what you want from a Marvel movie. Because I think most most of the early Avenger movies were just action and there was no real like yeah but you didn't really yeah you didn't really enjoy it as much as you did like end game and yeah because you, could... you could have like a laugh but then you could have like there's moments where you know like you'd want to be you're sad about things yeah it's got for heart. people that um it's have got... not seen avengers end game please um leave the podcast because um <laughs> <laughs> big spoilers coming <laughs> yeah so what was I mean, I think it was inevitable that um, Iron Man was going to die. Yeah. And I, I think, think, like, you you don't want him to die, but at the same time, you know he's going to die. I thought... I thought they should have killed... I thought... To be honest, I actually thought Thanos was going to win. <laughs> In Endgame? Yeah. <laughs> at the very end no, of it. No, genuinely, I thought... Well, he won at the end of Infinity War. That yeah, was I know. The whole thing. But what I thought was... In... Uh, in Endgame... When Captain America strapped the thing on, I genuinely thought that running into battle, he mm. just might like stop and die, and I mm. just thought that was going to be the end of it. Yeah, which but, would be pretty anticlimactic, but yeah, it would be especially for the climax of your ten-year, twenty-movie plus saga. Just as he, oh, and he dropped it, and he did. Captain America, I think. Well, I always like the Incredible Hulk, but Captain America is my favorite character. I think. So uh, that's Killian uh, leaving the room. Uh, I'm again, I'm just checking the score. Of the he's checking the score. It's not even kicked off yet. I'm just about to kick off. It is literally a minute off. Yes, <laughs> this is how you podcast. You talk and then you randomly oh, leave the room just... and come back in once you've checked on the Liverpool game. Who are Liverpool playing? Chelsea. Chelsea. He's not coming. Or no, that is not him. 
No, that is not your friend Ethan. That is a man cycling who is clearly in his 50s. <laughs> Unless Ethan is like his namesake in Mission Impossible, Ethan Hunt, a master of disguise. Is your friend a master of disguise? No. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. But I'm... I, I want to talk about something else other than superheroes. I've drunk, I've drunk a litre. Whatever you want to talk about, the floor is yours. There you go. All right, sports. Go for it. So, football. Um, whatever club you support, if it's not Liverpool, I don't give two shits about you. <laughs> <laughs> I really could not care less. <laughs> That's not very empathetic. <laughs> no, but really, um, is there comments and podcasts? Can you leave a pod? Comment P- people podcast. can comment, yeah. All right, well, comment your um, favorite football club uh, in reasons why. Reasons yeah, why reason, you give me reasons why. You can just say the, your favorite football club, your favorite player, and if you say your favorite player, I'm going to assume that um, that's the club you support. Oh, and we've got we've got some we've got some comments in already. No, we don't. He's this reading my, it off a hand. This is, <laughs> this is the magic of podcast. I know, actually, no, give, no, give, I'm going to make no, some up. Give me, fo- no, give me footballers, and I want to give an opinion. Give on me them. your footballers. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's, footballer, who's, your, who's, your, who's your top footballer? Let me guess. Top, top. Liverpool player. Yeah. Is it Salah? No. Salah? Is that no. his name? Salad? Salah. Is it Mo, as I say when I'm on a diet, Mo Salad? Do you like that joke? No. Okay. Uh, sports. What if someone? What if someone said, "I like." Uh, it could be any team. I like. Let me let me think of a team. I like Tottenham Hotspur oh, God. because no, and the reason I like them, they have lovely jerseys. Oh, <laughs> oh there is. Um, oh, there's if you, if you if you support a club because of their jersey, um, you know nothing about the sport. And Tottenham Hotspur are shit. Yeah, take so that. So that that would explain yeah. why you love like them because of their jersey. It yeah. just proved my point that you know nothing about the sport. All right, I have to go. Goodbye. All right, take that, Terence from Athlone, who tweeted in to say he loved Tottenham Hotspur because of their jerseys. So you can hear Suki losing her mind uh, in the background, which is uh, unfortunate, and. Uh, are we going to have a guest appearance by... No, is he's, he's closing the door. I heard him saying something about a podcast and now he's going off with his friend Ethan. Well, maybe he maybe he won't because he was he was saying... Uh, oh, he's left his phone. Or give him his phone so he's contactable. Maybe he won't go off with him because he was saying if he's, you know, 10 minutes late and at this stage he is 33 minutes late. So there you have it, guys. That is Killian... Salmon, my nephew, uh, who is going to be a podcaster of the future. I don't know if there are many 11-year-olds doing podcasts, but uh, hey, look, uh, I featured him on because he was uh, good enough to come on and chat with me. And after that very, very brief interview slash chat, he just wants to do his own podcast now. So uh, I don't know what that would be about. Um, I'd love to get his hot takes on a, on a number of things. Maybe next time when I'm down, I'll bring a second microphone and we can just, you know, chew the fat or even get him on uh, my other podcast, Reviewables. So if you want to check out Reviewables, uh, you can do that. It's on the Head Stuff Podcast Network. If you want to check out uh, more episodes of my podcast, then you're in the right place. Just go back to uh, episode one uh, where it all began. And then just go through them uh, if you just want to play them and not listen to them just sort of have them play them at night turn the volume down and just go on to the next episode that will uh, absolutely help me if you want to leave me a review that would be fantastic uh, people have been leaving me reviews uh, you don't have to write it here it is uh, five stars it's the best love having them in my ears every week so thanks very much uh, if you want to be kind to yourself and to everyone around you and be safe and be seen and eat a balanced meal and get enough sleep and uh, stop worrying about stuff. Just worry about today. Tomorrow will take care of itself.
If you want to do all of those things, that's great. And I applaud you. So uh, that's the end of the show, guys. Uh, I will see you next week. Please take care of yourselves. And uh, bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. See you now. Good luck. Bye. Salmon of knowledge, just a 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 salmon of